Um, now, when, when you do normally find yourself feeling like you want to switch it up, what's usually going on in your head at that point in time? What are you feeling? What are you thinking? Um, are you, when you, when you start to feel what I'm assuming is probably bored with the exercises, what about it, the exercise feels boring? I don't think it feels boring. It feels like probably because I'm, I'm always changing. Like, for example, I follow a girl called Silvana Araujo, that it's a Colombian girl that has the perfect body I want. Um, and she's always, she always do like mostly the same exercises, but each week she like works in like in different muscles of the uh, legs and glutes. So for example, well, it depends, but when I change, I feel like when I want to change, I feel like I'm, I've been doing this for, for a long time. So I don't know, my, my body is like, I don't want, you know, like I want to do something else. And I don't know how, how do you say this, but I feel lazy of that exercises. Like I don't want to do it. That, that's what I, what I feel. Okay, so you feel sort of like unmotivated when you when you yeah. look at those exercises. Ah, okay. Um, question: When you are usually going through these programs, um, following this this, uh, uh, is she on YouTube, on Insta, or do you Instagram? Okay. Uh, when you're usually following uh, the the Instagram on this Instagram ladies' uh, programs. Are you usually tracking how much weight you're doing week to week? Is that something you, you do at all? Or do you sort of just like, no? no? Okay. No, I right. think that's why I also never grow because I'm always like with the same way. Mm. Like I, I change it, but just when they are like, I don't know, like easy exercises for me. So I increase the weight, you know, but I'm not usually doing that okay all right yes that's that is going to be i think probably pretty helpful for you in general um one of the another major tenant of exercise and you know hypertrophy and growing muscles is based very securely in the idea that you have to progressively overload the system so um kind of like it kind of goes back to our conversation where we're talking about your body slowly trying to get used to an exercise and figure out how to do it best what it's trying to do is reach a point of balance where it is kind of at like an equilibrium an even state with everything because its ideal state is where it can do whatever you're asking it to do with the least amount of energy necessary to do it and so it wants to kind of get to the point where it's like i've expended no more and no less energy than was absolutely necessary to do this and so that's the sort of state it's constantly trying to achieve and if you're using the same weights consistently week over week over week over week, what will happen is it'll kind of get to that point where it's like, cool, I've reached homeostasis, that even balanced state. I don't really, I don't really have to do anything. We don't have to grow the muscles. We don't have to run everything is that's all of that's unnecessary to us because we've, we figured out you, you're asking it to perform these movements and it's figured out how to perform those movements optimally without expending any more energy that is necessary. So with it hitting that even point, it, realizes it doesn't need to grow the muscles in order to perform the task. Why would it? It's figured out how to do it optimally. It knows exactly how much energy it takes and it's managed to pull it off with what you have. So it's like, cool, we're done. We're done here. This is the end of it. So with this tracker to like kind of constantly, you know, note down what weight you're doing, part of that is sort of motivation so every time you write in like a weight for the week you know when you did like so for back squat you put in okay i did this much weight this week part of what you're doing there isn't just to go okay now i know what i did for next time it's actually more of a motivational point for future sarah for her to look at it and go oh we did 20 pounds last week cool this week we need to try 22 and a half or 25 Let's push the bar forward every week, attempting to just shift slightly forward. It doesn't necessarily have to be in weight. Sometimes it can be in repetitions. That's definitely something where like these numbers aren't necessarily written in stone. There is some very, some like wiggle room up and down. Um, I'd say about two reps up or down would be an ideal amount to work with. 
three is fine too, but we'll stick with two just to kind of give us something easy to work with. So say you're doing an exercise where going up to 25 isn't possible. The next jump is to 30 and that's a bit much for you. Maybe you're like, okay, I don't think I can handle that. In that that's case, we have an option. In that case, what we do is we just add an extra repetition on it for the next week. So say say it was back squat and you're doing back squat with a 30 pound, the, the, the set bar over your shoulders, you're doing 30 pounds and you, you did your squat, your back squats at one week and you're like, cool, it was good, it was challenging, everything's great. Next week, you're like, hmm, well, I was doing 20 pounds and the next one up is 30 and that's a bit much for me. Well then, our option at this point in time, instead of doing 12 repetitions, do 13 or maybe even 14 if you, th if you think you can handle that. And then when you get to the week after that, at that point, now it's time to try maybe moving up to the 30. And instead of doing 12, try to do maybe 10 or 11. And then the week after that, instead of doing 10 or 11, 11 or 12. Okay. And then the week after, you know, see, you see what I mean? So like yeah. the, the ability to modify the difficulty and challenge the system differently isn't limited to just the weight you're using. Repetitions can also be used to achieve a very similar result of challenging the system and progressively overloading you without having to worry about, you know, how big a jump a 20, a 20 to 30 might be. And so you can kind of bridge that gap more easily there. Do you have a, do you have a question? I don't know. It seems like yeah. you might get. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. Uh...